Welcome back. This is Vicki. The next thing I'm going to work on on my fruit portrait is a seckle pear. I went into the store and saw a pear that I had never seen before. So I bought it and I practiced right here with the seckle pear. And this is the real fruit right here. It has red, some little blemishes that are deeper red yellow, green. It has many different colors. I suppose this is the most interesting part. The colors I'm going to be using today are yellow, Naples yellow, Indian red, magenta. For shading I'm going to use burnt okra, ochre, terracotta. Blending I'm going to use cream. And this is the shape of my fruit here. I'm going to go ahead and erase the line that I made before I um, color. Now I can barely see it, which is um, what you want so that pencil color doesn't show up around your fruit. So I'm going to put a yellow down first, laying my pencil sideways and using a circular motion to get as many teeth as I can as I go along. My circles aren't too big. If I only wanted a little bit of this color I could make them smaller or make them bigger if I wanted less and smaller I want more for my background I'm not very good about turning my pencil. I think it's already too late to turn it. Next I'm going to move on to some orange. or it's called Indian Yellow Indian Red <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness
I like to have the pencil on the side where I can where I can feel that it's meeting the paper just right. Some sides might have an edge on it and it might not roll across as smoothly as another part of the pencil. Today I'm going to limit this video to 15 minutes or less. If I don't finish the pair today, I'll finish it next time. Now I'm moving on to the Indian Red. I'm going to go ahead and blend it a little bit with the cream. It'll make the colors look more like they're one instead of separate colors. See how much smoother this looks up here than this over here? By melding into one color, it will look more natural.
And if you see these spots that I left right here, and here, and here, it's where there's some green on the pear. Actually, when it's sitting like this, it looks a little green down here. But when you lift it up, it actually doesn't look all that green. But you can see that lighter portion here and here. And at the top, it has this greenish yellow. And if you get it to this one side, which I'm not going to use this side today. This could be for another day. This side here is mostly the color of a regular green pear, other than these red dots down here. But for today, I'm focusing on this side here, the side that's the reddest. And the time-consuming part will be all these little red speckles. These little red speckles here. That's going to be the time-consuming part, because I would like to get that down. Next time we meet, We'll work on the pear some more, getting yellow and greens onto it with these little red blemishes. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any suggestions or questions, please write them below. Thank you very much for watching.